Uh, hi guys welcome to this video in this video we'll talk about the people who are scoring in the range of 90 percentile if you've touched even one 90 percentile and are normally in the range of 80 to 90 then this is a video suited for you fine so uh, let's start with the first of all overview what how you what you need to do to crack the exam first of all the way you're preparing right now with 80 to 90 you need to understand where you stand at max you can reach a college like imt ghaziabad uh, uh, four KJ Somaya Willinker in Mumbai which, which all these colleges have an average salary of around 8 to 9 lakhs which is not a bad salary at all to start with but obviously you will be feeling sad if you look at the people around you your friends and all who are 99 plus and will be earning a salary of around 15 lakhs with the top 10 B schools fine salary is just one example to show you the difference between two of you with the average of 9 lakhs to average of 15 lakhs that's a cool 50,000 per month salary difference fine so if you improve in the next few weeks a few months remaining for the cat exam so you can definitely reach up to this level and that's your target and this is what we are going to talk about in this video so we are today around 85 to 90 percentile target is to reach 99 percentile and obviously of course we will reach that level the only neat thing i need to work on is my shortcuts most of you might have done with the basics if you not please work on the basics as well but mainly is shortcuts which is going to help you reach that level fine so your target should be these top 10 colleges so please keep dreaming about high about these colleges because the word below them is not that fancy as it looks yep with last call in this top 10 being mdi which have an average salary of 16 lakhs plus Alright, the first thing, good thing, let's talk about the good part thing about your score. The first best part is you are still in the race because you are in 80 plus range, 80 90, which is not a very, very bad score considering the mocks are normally more difficult than the actual CAT exam. So you are still intact, so no need to worry about that. So that's the best sign, that's trust me, the battle is half won the moment you are in the race. Fine, you are going into the top 20 B schools of the country, not top 10, but top 11 to 20 B schools with this course which is not a bad call at all but yes obviously we need to improve with that fine so uh, what extra we have with the moon what normally I've seen the people who touch 90 percentile once in their CAT exam or in the range of 92 to 85 in CAT exam they normally do very well in the non CAT exam so snap nmat zat all the other exams are still pending so don't worry just keep your motivation high so that we can reach these top 10 colleges fine negative side on the other hand with this course is that people with this course are not happy with them fine so there are not a lot of negative energies coming into picture that i can't do this i can't do that so these are the something which you have to keep away from so please keep away from all the negative energy which you have fine next thing which i've seen is people burn out fine because you're reaching so close to the target exams are coming near and near and your scores are not even touching the uh, idle mark so this is where the um, all the uh, motivation go for a toss fine so please keep yourself high this there are two points i've talked about negative energies here fine so uh, you have to make a comeback that's very very important all right so now we'll talk about how to do for the last few days for the cat exam so that you can reach that 99 percentile level fine you know what the difference between you and a cat topper the person's going 99 percentile and a person who is scoring 90 percentile the difference is not more than four questions per section yeah that's per section so all you need to do is you do four more question quant four more question verbal uh, maybe one extra rc set on the exam day fine so first of all yes you are in the race on time so we need to work hard on section by section finding out where we need to improve so that we can reach that level fine so first of all we'll talk about the quant normally people in the range between 85 90 in this in your range people are very very good when it comes to arithmetic and traditional questions of math like numbers uh, all those topics but they're not very very good with geometry modern maths fine and numbers so these are the three areas where you need to work on geometry modern maths and numbers Fine, because these three areas are very very crucial and people do need improvement in that fine so whatever the way you are preparing these three topics have to be well versed with 
fine 85 percentile means your basics are done but you need to work on the advanced level you need to work on the speed you need to work on the shortcuts fine so please keep your motivation high so that you can work around your shortcuts as you go along all right so moving to the verbal section the main improvement in verbal section is rc and grammar which is commonly seen for the people in your range yeah so please improve your rc because that without rc you cannot score you cannot reach the top without RC. DI logic practice. That's all I can say because the 85 percentile people don't need that much uh, basics because you already have done with the DI and logic. All now you need to do is practice a little bit high level questions. Fine. Now where to find all these questions? If you can pick up CET King Green Books, which are all the actual papers of CAT and other exams, that would be very very good thing to do because they are all the actual questions of CAT combined together topic wise yeah so that can be a very very good book to follow for your uh, di logic as well fine so these are things you have to work on move to the mock taking strategies for people in this range i normally recommend three mocks a week not more than that because your mock scores mock taking more mock will not increase your score that's the one main problem which i've seen in the people that they give mocks every day see if my knees are weak and I try to run every day, it not help me unless I improve my knees. Right, so you have to work on your knees, you have to work on your uh, mock taking strategies, your weak areas, strong areas, all those things. Yep. So three key strategies for you is shortcuts. You know the basics, you know everything great, very good move to the shortcut. Spend more time on working on the shortcut so that you spend less time per question in the exam. Second is practice high level question, practice more and more, more, more difficult question which you need to work on, which have to be worked on so that you can uh, crack the difficult level question where, where you are fumbling at as of today. And last, find your weak area and improve them. I have given you your weak areas earlier, now you have to work on them. All right. In the CAT paper, your target should be to touch out of 100 questions, you have to touch 80 if you expect 95, 96, 98 percentile plus. Yeah. Or at least 70 percent, 70 questions so that you can reach the level of 95, 90 percentile. But we already are there, so that makes no sense. You have to target 80 plus attempt in your CAT paper. Alright, so we have launched a shortcut workshop for uh, quant and verbal cutoff line workshop. So quant, di, verbal and logic. So all the four areas are going to be covered in them. With the promise to increase the score by up to 20 marks in the CAT exam. Which you can join. Alright, if you want to have any more questions with me, you can add me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Ravgun, R-A-V-G-U-N. That's my uh, link. And if you plan to join our programs, you can join us on cetking.com, cetking.com, and call us on the number 959 444 1448. Alright, all the best. Thank you.